Hello wonderful people, welcome to this video. Kali Linux has released version 2025.2 and they have introduced 13 new tools. So if you pretend to download Kali Linux, just click on download as it is here. Then click on recommended. If you move down, you're going to see Kali Linux 2025.2. So this is one way to get the latest version. If you're not into upgrade and you want to get the latest version of Kali Linux, then the best thing you can do is just go to Kali.org download page, which I'm going to link in the description. Click on download. Choose installer images, click on recommended, come down here and this is where you're going to click on, click on this icon to pull down the latest version of Kali Linux. So I have it here, it's 4.17 GB. So you're going to click on start download. Open your virtual machine. All you need to do is create a new virtual machine. So you're going to click on this. So click on typical, which is recommended. We are going to choose this option. I will install the operating system later. So we'll go with that. So, guest operating system is Linux. So you can drop this down, and this one is selected. So that is okay. You say next. And the virtual machine name. Let's give it a name such as 2025.2. So we're going to choose install location. I want to choose this drive. If for any reason you want to select a new drive, click on browse and go to that location. For me, I'm going to say next. Then he said splitting the hard disk is easier to move the virtual machine to another computer but may reduce performance so i'm going to choose this first option here maximum this size i'm going to choose 25 for the said recommended size for other linux kernel 4 bit is 8 bit i'm going to say next and this is the virtual machine. So I'm going to say finish. And look at it here. It has been created here. So, but I want to do some editing. I want to turn my memory to 2 gig. So I'm going to click on edit. And on memory, I'm going to push it up to 2 gig. I can as well go to for 4 gig since I have uh, 24 GB on my system. So let me leave it at 2 GB. I will say okay. But before I do that, I'm going to select the OS that I want to install. That is the ISO image I downloaded or the latest Kali Linux 2025.2. So I'm going to select this option. I'm going to browse. Then I'm going to go to the location where I have it. It's on my desktop. So I'm going to click on open. And this is it. So I'm going to say OK. So what I'm going to do next is to come over to this place. And I'm going to start the virtual machine.
I'm making sure I have this selected so the visual machine is going to start. So I'm going to be selecting graphical install. I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard. So we're here. So I'm simply click on English. So we'll say continue. Now choose your country and say continue. Configure the keyboard. I will go with American English. So I'll say continue. Say Please enter the host name for this system. Then I'm going to put a name Kali2025. Now say continue. Domain name, I'm going to skip this. A user account will be created for you to use instead of the root account for non administrative activities. Please enter a real name of this user okay so because we are in the business of security hacking and the rest it would be a wrong uh, idea to put your personal name here so here i'm gonna put kali 2025 or i'm gonna put kali with double i now say continue username of the account i'll still leave it at that then make sure you select a strong password so password so that is my password i'm gonna say continue so i'm gonna choose use entire disk and say continue here and there's nothing to choose i'll say continue here all files in one partition recommended i'll say continue so here nothing to choose i'll say continue it's write the changes to disk i'll say yes i'll continue So here I have the default selections for me. I'm okay with this, so I'm going to say continue. Install Grub Boot Loader. I'm going to say yes and say continue. Then here I'm going to choose slash dev slash sda. We'll say continue so i'm going to say continue so kali linux so here now i'm going to put my username and my password So this is how to install this on a VMware workstation.